um what is going on guys and today we're going to audit a website it's called australian business coaching and if you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel kindly go to wpg online services and subscribe there we only have 143 subscribers and currently doing the seo audit template and tutorial for all niche this is uploaded in this uh playlist all right so let's go to um the google sheets we're in this foundation we're just going to mark this with all ongoing since we don't have access on it um we didn't yet set up keyword rank tracking all right so if you want to download this template kindly go to wpg and then click download and fill in your uh name and it's not loading name and email address all right and then you can get the free copy of the template so with that being said let's go ahead to so let's just check quickly for the website they don't have organic traffic they have one key organic keyword and they're starting 2015 or 2013 somewhere uh, they have backlink slowly around yep we can see that 20 backlinks nine referring domains and we're just going to check a little bit pretty permalinks so let's go to blog they don't have a blog it's good they have a uh, call to action button in here starting business growing a business managing growth existing that exciting a business not sure what's that what that is all right we got coaches in here all right you can book a call so let's just try one all right so they have a calendar type booking which is good on the other hand let's try to check meta title and description all right no meta description let's try one of the pages marketing just quickly going to scroll scroll so there's no meta description all right so we need to fix meta description and also meta title so in here we need to it's this clickable that's clickable all right business advice business advice right to check if there is a google my business now we're not ranking in business advice what is it australian business coaching Australian business coaching. Write that one and we can found we can find GMB in here. No GMB, so we can work that. All right, so no Google My Business. Let's try to click some links in the footer process. Uh, 
Our blog. Hmm. Let's try to read one. And the uh, website just got. Navigation menu is broken or something. Yep, whole page is broken. Try to hard refresh that. Still broken. Probably the caching issue. Or website theme. In here, it's good. Let's try to check if this is WordPress. Theme. DB child. All right. Um, let's go ahead and check out if they have headers. That's one good. H2 images no alt text let's try to check that in the code mm, there we go no alt text oh so, really permalinks I think we have visited that and that's good in here you can check that by going to the like the url so url domain and then the uh extension so they call this sometimes extension, but this is the extension of the domain URL. All right. So that's how we call it. So in here, we're good. Uh, site is mobile friendly. Let's go ahead and do that. Check in here. Tools. Mobile friendly. Let's click that. All right, so I did a quick pause in there and page is mobile friendly. So the URL that I check is the blog page, blog post. All right, we're good there. Uh, let's try to check if it is fast using GT metrics for now. Most of the time they are checking the home page only. But we want to rank uh post, that's why I'm checking the post in here. If it is slow, then we need to improve that. All right, so that's 4.9 seconds right there. So we, we should, um, all right, so this is checking. Let's mark the Z that needs to be, to be fixed. You can fix that easily. Keep URL short. Let's try this. So that's short in here. Let's check the other pages. All right, short.
All good there. Check and optimize your 404 page. Let's try this. I have a screaming frog. This is a free version. So we have links, footer links, but there's problem in footer icons. So, and also in here, menu also. Let's try to pull uh, the website and put it in here uh, just to check a few links. All right. So while that is running, let's go ahead and check. It's good. Make it easy to share your content. Let's go in again to the blog page. Oh wait, let's check out that broken page. It's still broken. Mm -hmm. So it should, it should have a button which you can share in Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Somewhere at the top or in here or at the side will do. In this part so let's put this as red name your brand on multiple social networks let's try to check this is how I do it you can put the URL at the top Put the URL at the top and then put a space, Facebook. Mm. Right. So there it is. There's Facebook. Let's try to find Twitter. There it is. And let's try to find LinkedIn. There it is. So this is the Facebook page. This is Twitter. No tweets. Uh, it should have tweets. And this is your business advice agency. Go to about. I think this is not the one. Yep. And it should have be linked. 
in here. All right. Try to open that. And two days ago. Where is this? All right. All good. So in performance, we need to optimize those. Let's just put for now zeros in here. Oh, um, this will be manual or by using WP rocket. Wait till we get to vacant in here performance. Normally we need to use a different caching plugin. I check for HTTPS. Yep, not secure. Let's put the Z. Other than that, I go to why no padlock. That is Z there. Check for WW version. All right. It redirects. Home page is working properly, but on the sub pages, it needs to be fixed. All right. Let's try to check again. And it's not secure there. So you can see that we have a failure in here. Let's go ahead and try a different URL. Just to check. And our screaming frog is done. Yep, we pass here. We need to force HTTPS in here. So this one's good. Mm. Try to check in the codes. This code needs to be edited in here. Google also read bad codes in your website. That's why they don't want. Oh, you don't. They will not going to show you 
most of the time your pages sub pages in the search results because it will going to give a bad user experience for the users so let's move along move let's just mark that as z create a site map so let's try to check your site map in here using Yoast good robots.txt I'm just going to mark that as red need to have a site map in the robot that takes all right Let's check canonical contains canonical 55 98 percent all good so we have missing right here, which is not indexable, which is good. So let's mark that as X. Check and fix broken links. Let's go to Internal and then HTML big. All right, so there's no 404 in there. On images missing. Oh, meta description missing 51. H1 missing. We have 20 images missing alt text 87 canonicals all good page nope that's good all right so check broken links nope we're gonna fix two direct chains All right, so for fix missing and duplicate meta titles and description, let's mark that as Z. Wait, Z, all right. Use redirects properly, that's good. So check uh, for index coverage issues. I'm just going to mark this as already. Because we have only 23 results in here. All right. Um, all right. So that's X for manual penalties. Let's mark that as that as O since uh, we don't have access in Google Search Console. Console. So in here we don't have access but i marked it as x already so keep page at maximum three clicks from reach well we have already test out this web the website so that is one click one click one click and for the blog post that is three clicks all right that's in here it should have it should be in the top right okay hmm. x use no index and no follow tags properly we can check that in rank map seo plugin 
or set up that in a WordPress plugin. Uh, disable irrelevant pages from being indexed. That's all good. Since we only have 23 indexed by Google. All right. So we need a lot of content development to gain traffic from organic. And so we need more pages in order to dominate the SERPs. So let's go ahead to website design, um, mobile friendly is good. Site search it's supposed to be at the top. So there's no site search. So that's supposed to be in here. There's supposed to be a button. Let's say for example, uh, something like this. So when I use the search for, let's say, reviews in WPG, we can search for reviews topic. So in that way, when a user go here, um, he wants to search for uh, a type of post uh, talking about starting a business. All right. So that's market Z for now. Breadcrumbs. So category, let's go to no breadcrumbs. Hmm. I mark it as breadcrumbs as X because we have category at the bottom in here and also in an navigation. It will become ugly if we're going to put a breadcrumb in here. Social media on sites, that's good. We found it in the footer. CTA, call to action above the fold. Nope, not in here, but there's a call to action at the top. Call. All right. Starting a business, I should have a button in the header in here. Let's say, for example, you want them to call you starting a business. You want them to call you or book a call now in here, and it will going to redirect to contact us. All right, in here or this one get started starting a business call to action. So the pages must have more text. It will trigger uh, the same content, which will going to hurt the website. So let's say we have a different uh, text in here when we are going to click the go to the market or addition. Raising capital. Let's see if that is a different text. 
do the same. So that is going to trigger as duplicate content. So CTA will be fold. Let's mark it as G for now. Proper navigation or good AMP for this one's good. Let's try to check if we have AMP. Nope, we don't have. That's fine. So site architecture is going to be ongoing for now. Uh, which is if i'm going to look at the website categorize url which is good let's just try to do that i categorize pages or posts we're going to check out the website and let's try to put and um, categorize here then we don't have that's good for four pages to 301 we don't have that so four four pages no traffic and 302s we don't have 302s so let's go to internal html and we only have 200 status code in here and the um, blog page is permanently why Right, check the blog page all right that's good oh for the correct redirect thank you pages in place all footer and header links work let's try to check the Thank you pages let's try to mark that as z the contact page try to test right so we're going to test if you are having a thank you page uh, which you don't have so we need to have a thank you page and then um add a conversion code to analytics so that we can mm, count how many users have sent you a message so that we're going to convert as uh, we're going to talk uh, we're going to call that as conversions let's move in a content and on page seo though there's a lot more so i have 33 minutes just going to make this quick have a solid seo content strategy that's more as z for now no keyword research no long form content create 10 times no ah this was good i do believe there's a duplicate content create content hubs good for now Oh. November 20. So that's latest. November 18. So I think you are doing the blog posting. So let's mark this X. Build up each. I think you're doing the content here. But again, this needs to be. Um, this needs to have more content on the website. 
to build up the expertise the eats try to check eat meaning expertise authoritiveness and trustworthiness all right so that can be seen in the blog post and also in the pages of the website sounds good check the target keyword matches user intent that is manual um have the target keyword in the url so let's say uh, on page seo is ongoing uh use focus keyword in the first paragraph that needs to be fixed manually um what's this so there's missing h1 I mark a uh, orient SEO oriented meta title. Let's say, for example, ideation business advice. Right. Edition. Five tips to encourage addition in the workplace. To the blog. So that's 500 words and we need to increase those probably minimum of 1200 format and style the content properly it's good format but it needs more cont uh, word count link to relevant inner pages all right one internal link and no external yep there is
to name your image properly. All right, cool. Missing alt text. We are missing alt text in here. There we go. 87 missing all text. Check for social markup. Let's try by going to uh, normally we check by going to OG data. There is in here. so it's not being fetched this URL hasn't been shared on Facebook before all right so now it looks like this so we need to share each page in Twitter Facebook LinkedIn uh, sometimes in Google my business most of the most of the time in Google my business So that is good. All right, so this is all ongoing. Don't over optimize. Okay, it redirects to preferred version. Yep, fave icon. Nope, we need sitemap included in robots the text. Our free lead magnets, we don't have lead magnets. All right. So that's 42 minutes. That's a lot in there. Lots of checks. So indexation, all good in here since we already have 23 pages being indexed. No need to worry. So in here, I need access on Google Search Console and also in Google Analytics. You can share the property by going to um, in this links in here. Oh, wait, oops. Or you can share the, and share the property in my email. All right. I haven't yet built out the other videos for checking and fixing implementations in here. But soon I will be done building those videos and it will be included in there. So schema markup, let's just check quickly. Structured. They already had changed it to all right. So we need to have an organizational or local business schema markup in here in the home page and then also in the about page and contact page added so that it will going to look like when you're going to search for your brand let's say i'm going to check out my brand uh, you can see that we have something like this but it is pulled out by google but that will help that this is uh, apply for a free essay audit this is the about page this is zigzag two a review top one SEO ninja all right that we're going to help um, the bots by of Google to identify what is your page all about 
it should have an about and contact page at the top contact page terms of service I don't know. I haven't noticed the about page. All right. It's in here. So uh, for now we're going to mark all Z in the schema markup in here. No schema errors. This one's this one's good. So this is optional. But if I'm going to manage and implement stuff, I'm going to double check also the plugins. All right, so this is off page SEO and local SEO. Then basic technical SEO items. This is double checking, basic on page and content local SEO checklist, off page local SEO checklist, and so on. External. So I'm cutting off the video right now. It's 47 minutes. Um, still i'm going to finish up this one um this is going to be marked as i'm going for now all right so for the sake of the video for youtube and reporting uh, this one needs to be ongoing i'm just going to copy it's everything right so we need to fix uh schema markup uh just a recap sitemap lead magnets um alt text meta title meta description what else of course https keyword research uh constant content strategy Thank you, Pages. Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Tight Search, Call to Action above the fold in important pages. Topics missing and duplicate meta title description, yeah, right? Uh, create a robot.txt file. It already have, but needs to have a sitemap in robots.txt. Fix mixed content. Uh, check for HTTPS. Uh, this one is in the sub pages sub pages is having insecure content all right now in here make it easy to share content we need to have a uh, a page which is having a buttons that can share directly to facebook twitter instagram now check site loads fast we need to improve the website loading so use a top performing web host that is on you if which but we can check uh, you can tell me what hosting provider you are using and we can probably fix that by using a plugin and also for ongoing on the google analytics google search console Forty nine minutes. Let's just try to check you in here. Let's say analytics. So we have analytics. 
So this one's universal, not universal. All right. So we need to set up properly the analytics in here. All right. So that's not it. You need to do more. You can share the Google Search Console, Google Analytics. And if you can go to uh, my portfolio in here, I haven't sent you this, but if you can go to my portfolio, you can go over to the free SEO audit. Right here, you can fill up this form, your email, answers, a few questions. I haven't mentioned Google Analytics right here. Can you provide Google access to your Google Analytics and Google Search Console? If you haven't uh, created or set up that properly, we can set up that for you. All right. Well, that's all, guys. Uh, we're going to do more website audits. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.